Welcome to Cat Quest 2. After finishing the first game and loving it, I was excited to jump right into the sequel, and I was not disappointed. In Cat Quest 1, we played as a cat, this time around we'll be controlling two main characters, a cat and a dog, so the game should be called Cat Dog Quest. That kind of reminds me of a certain cartoon I used to watch. Anyway, the game has seen massive improvements across the board, you get around the world map faster, combat feels smoother, more responsive and varied, more weapons, more gear, spells, more customization, better graphics, the UI is tons better, the dungeons are also more varied, it's honestly just all a big step up. We even have couch co-op in this one. And as for the story, we need to defeat these godlike enemies while trying to prevent the cats and dogs from hating each other. With the cats living in the area from the first game, and the dogs living in the new desert region. The trophy list is very similar to Cat Quest 1, finish all dungeons, side quests, and level up to earn all 20 trophies. So sit back, relax, and join me on another great platinum journey. Beginning the game, I instantly, as mentioned, noticed a bunch of improvements. Entered my first cave, finding my first piece of gear, and spell, quickly finishing the cave and entering a new open area. Completing my first quest and earning the Cat Venture Begins trophy, which I had my microphone muted for like an idiot. Continued on, beat up some guards, reached level 5, fought an unbeatable foe who was resistant to everything and got trapped on this little island. While trying to escape, I faced another boss, nice, and completed Kit's test. Beautiful quest complete and another trophy, King Hood 1 for reaching level 10. Next I needed to level up a little bit more before tackling the next main objective. So I tackled a few side quests, one of which was a clear reference to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde helping me reach level 19 and I was now tasked with getting into a new region of the map. I entered a dungeon and had to pass the bridge. Oh, a new area, the Lupus Empire, which for entering a new continent. In this new area, I quickly found a new spell. Arcane Pause 1, obtained four spells. I then got past some guards, turns out they absolutely love biscuits. Me too, never tried a dog biscuit though, so not sure if I enjoy those ones. I found someone selling them though, and was willing to give me some if I could grab a bone from a cave. I quickly got it, gave it to the guy, got my biscuits, headed over to the guards, which allowed me now to pass. I met a new ally who could upgrade my weapons, and then helped someone completing a side quest. Level 29 and another trophy, friend of the people, for completing seven side quests. Completing more side quests, one tasked me with entering a dungeon. Ooh, dungeon master clearing eight dungeons while exploring another dungeon. Fashionista Tails obtained 34 pieces of equipment. I was now blocked from progressing the main story because just like in the first game, I needed to get the ability to walk on water. There we go, Royal Art of Water Walking. Hell yeah, and a trophy as well. Royal Fur for unlocking three Royal Arts. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, and another trophy from completing the mission, which is King Hood 2 for reaching level 50. And now we can walk on water, which means we can now advance the, uh, the, the main story as well. I then found this small secret island with four shadowy cats that offered me some side quests. Delete my save data. There's no way. Sure, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> I was actually worried there for a second. I thought they might have actually deleted my save data. So these are meant to be the developers. <laughs> All the quests are level 999. I'm guessing this is how I get the gold key. In the first game, you had to do something ridiculous like this as well to get the gold key so you could open all the gold chests and they're kind of circling the gold chest. Enter the portal and if you survive, we will give you something very special. Oh, I wonder what that might be. Oh, whoa, what the hell? 
Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, we're gonna have to be really careful here to, to be, beat these guys. As long as we take our time, we should be okay. Just don't get hit. Obviously easier said than done, but okay, that did not work. Luckily though in this game, because it's two players, you can revive, which is which is cool. It's not always easy though. Oh, we got him. This is rough. I feel like I probably should have leveled up a little bit more. Jesus. We can definitely do it. Just gotta keep playing it slow, keep healing. Hit and move. Oh no. Alright, we got one. Got two. Ooh, that was close. Alright, last one. Hopefully I don't faff it up. Right, at least this character, this last enemy is kind of a ranged character. Yeah, I think we got this. Nice. Level up as well, level 72. <laughs> zero, 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 point one percent or whatever. Nice. Yeah, there we go. You've received the hidden key. So now we can open up all the gold chests. This will unlock a door in this hidden cave. Good luck, player. Oh, so we gotta go and find that cave first. Hope you're enjoying Cat Quest 2. Thank you for supporting us. I am absolutely enjoying it. Oh, we got a trophy as well. Friend of the People 2. So we completed number 37 side quest. Nice. Still don't have the golden key though. I've got to go and complete that cave. And then we get the key. After trying and failing to get the gold key, I went and leveled up some more and came back. Defeating the gold chests and earning the gold key. I'm now able to open up all of the gold chests that are scattered all around the map. Luckily in this one, there's no gold chests actually in dungeons, which is a nice little change, because in the first one, almost every dungeon had one. I will have to go around though, grabbing these gold chests, for getting two of the trophies, for getting pieces of gear. There we go. Gold key is mine. Entered another dungeon. Oh, another skill. Again this time. Perserk. And a trophy as well. Dungeon complete, arcane pause number two. That's for obtaining eight spells. Another easy dungeon cleared. Dungeon Master 2, that's for clearing 38 dungeons. Not much later, I was exploring the sea, looking for chests. Ooh, Fashionista Tales 2, obtain 67 pieces of equipment, which means I need one more trophy to do with equipment, which is for getting all pieces of equipment. Continuing with side quests, I was helping Hotto Doggo, that's quite the name, find a recipe in a cave. When out of absolutely nowhere, a dog called Caesar Salad <laughs> stole it. Hey, level 99, King Hood 3. In this next dungeon was a giant cactus boss, which wasn't too bad. Then the Cthulhu, no sorry, the Cat-Thulhu boss in the sea. And yes, my weapon is a giant hot dog. Cthulhu, dead. I'll take my gold chest, thank you very much. Ooh, another level 99 piece of gear, zero courage. Moving on, I'd been grabbing some keys that allowed me to enter this dungeon and grab some decent gear. Creepy. Yep, slightly like coming, so that might be good. Right, so that's one side done. Level 25, Dragon Maker. And then I can do the second side as well. That's an easy. Once back outside, I found my final spell. Oh, this might be the final magic skill that I need. There we go, Arcane Pause 3. So that's for obtaining all 12 spells. All right, this should be the final side mission that I need to do. Need to tank. Can I get whatever it is you're, you're having? Take my shirt, I don't need it anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go, that was an easy quest as well. For end of the people, number three. Completed all 67 of the side quests. I was now nicely leveled 
nearly at the end of the game. What the hell is that, bro? I'm gonna have to fight this weird ass thing. Yep. Whoa. All right. I defeated this strange eye boss thing and in the process unlocked a new weapon that would now allow me to finish the final two dungeons. I guess it's also finally time. Meet me where this all began. 112. Nice. Right, so hopefully the two final dungeons that I need, you can see that I've got 71 out of 73. I need two more. So that one there, and then there's another one that were locked. They should be unlocked now, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So we can do the final two dungeons. Use this as dungeons, no joke. All right, there we go. That's uh, the second to last dungeon done. Hopefully I get the remaining few pieces of gear I need as well. All right, so that's a new piece of gear. Nice. So I need, yeah, dungeon complete. So two more pieces of gear, one more dungeon. So. That's that first one done. So the next one I need was the lion. There it is. Cave of the lion. There we go. Cave of the lion. Another level 150. Yeah, there's my two final pieces of gear. Happy days. So I should get two of the trophies here. Just the dungeons. Much easier than that last one. Ow. Uh, I spoke too soon. Resisting everything. Just to put my, my put it. There we go. Gee, that hurts a lot. I think he's resistant to magic. I wonder if using that special sword will help. Yep, that helps. I guess I guess that's why I only just unlocked these. Because I needed that weapon. Dude does so much damage, it's ridiculous. We almost got him. Nice, there we go. That was actually a pretty difficult boss fight. So yep, that's that's one piece of gear. So this should be the last piece of gear. Yep, there you go. Fashionista Tales 3. And I don't know what I just said there. I think I combined two words, but yeah. 101 pieces of equipment. And then we open this and it should complete the dungeon, giving us the other trophy. Yeah, there we go. Dungeon Master 3. Cleared all 73 dungeons. Beautiful. So all I need to do now is pause together for completing the main quest. All right, here we go. Level one. My kings, are you ready? There's no going back. Epilogue. Let's get it. There it is. Pause together. Another amazing cat quest complete. And the platinum trophy. There we go. Poor Latinum. 100%. I, uh, I'm looking forward to Cat Quest 3 because that's supposed to be coming out very soon. But for now, thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all on the next video.